Shalom. Second, we're letting this feed pull up, make sure everything is up and running. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We should be in there. All right, Shalom. Before I get started with this live lesson, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders. Of great millstone who taught me this truth double salutations to all you akim out there laboring the house of david the elect that's pushing this word with all truth righteousness and sincerity shalom to you brothers and shalom to the elect all right i'm back at you with another live lesson through the holy spirit all right i uh, want to get into this uh topic here partaking of the passover worthily in various topics all right and we we're in that time of the year man all right, this is a very serious time of the year here. All right, and um, got a few scriptures here, you know, a couple of thoughts I just wanted to speak on. And uh, Lord willing, this uh, lesson is, is edifying, you know. But anyway, let's just get into this thing. This is, um, I want to start off with this. This is the book of Luke 20, Luke chapter 21. All right, Luke chapter 21 in verse, um, verse 29, all right. Luke 21 and verse 29, it says, and he spake to them in parables, behold, the fig tree, all right? It says, behold, the fig tree and all the trees, when they, when they now shoot forth, ye see and know your own selves that the summer is nigh at hand, all right? So we understand through the signs that the Lord has given us, you know, that, 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 that the Lord is clearly on his way back, all right? It says, <clears throat> it says, verse 31, so likewise, ye, when you see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Shah is nigh at hand, all right? And the Lord is making that clearer than ever right now, man, that, that this kingdom, Babylon the Great, which is America, according to the scriptures, is about to go down. These Edomites are about to go down, all right? The Lord is about to bring plagues and judgment, uh, judgments on the world, and his return is very near. All right, it says, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. All right? Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. And, 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 and shockingly, <laughs> There's many Israelites, you know, there's many Jakes that call themselves Israelites that are in this spirit of the world, man. In the spirit of mirth, the cares of this life, drunkenness, partying. They're not in the they're not in the spirit of being solemn, man. All right? Every year, every time we get into this time of year, all these other Israelite groups are just, they just bug out. You know? You got niggas that's uh, you know, uh 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 you know, paying for Passover tickets, you know, charging you know, merchandise in the father's house is the scriptures go into in the John, the second chapter. You know, this is the time of the year where these other Israelites, they make uh, uh, they make a bag, man. You know, it's all about, you know, m gaining money, you know, filling their pockets up. It's not about the sincerity, man. And we're in, and, and, and this is a serious matter, man. Right. And the Lord is going to judge a lot of Israelites that are coming in that spirit because this is a time of self-examination, man. You know. Really all year round, but how much more in this time, man? In the time of the Pesach, right? It says, let's read that again. Luke 21 and 34. And this is red letter Yahweh Shai speaking. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with sophiety and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come, up, come upon you unawares. Verse 35, Luke 21 and 35. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Verse 36, the point. Luke 21 and verse 36, it says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy 
right? Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man. That's it, man. That's all that matters. Are we worthy or not? Will we make it? Okay. Are we worthy to stand before the son of God, the son of man? Right. This is what we fighting for, man. We fighting for the Lord's mercy because we're in the time of grace. All right. The time to repent, to turn back to the Lord. All right. To, to, uh, uh, to get it together to the best of our ability, man. Cause that's all that matters. You know, like I did the lesson going into, um, you know, we want the, we want the approval of the Lord versus the, uh, the opinions of the world, man, the hell with this world it's about to go. All right. So we're fighting to, to gain the, the approval of Yahweh by Hashem Shai in that day when we got to stand before him, man. All right. Revelation, what? 20, uh, 22. It talks about how uh, the Lord is coming to, to, to judge every man according to his works, right? And you got a lot of these niggas out here that just tripping. Hey, it, it seems like it's, it's a spirit that get on these niggas around this time when Jake just be fucking tripping, man, right? A lot of these guys are not coming in the, in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al and that's clearly being seen right now, man. This is the time uh, 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 to, to, to have a solemn spirit. Let me uh, pull that up real quick, right? Let's read that definition real quick And I'm going to jump to uh, <clears throat> 1 Corinthians 11 But I want to read this definition of solemn Right? <laughs> it's crazy man Alright So this is the definition of solemn It says It says formal and dignified It says not cheerful Or smiling serious This is a very serious time And, and think what and, and Understand what's on the table right now As I talked about yesterday at camp What's on the table, man? Persecution, man. All right? Esau is letting it be known that, look, he's getting ready to, to attack the Bible and the prophets, man. He's coming after the word. All right? Civil war is brewing in America. Famines are on the way. All right? People are just, you know, the love of many shall wax cold, as the scriptures say, man. It's a very evil spirit out here, man, and, and things are about to spill over. All right? Demonization. You know, we're about to be slandered, all these things. Esau is getting ready to come with the shit, man. And you got Jake out here playing, right? It says, Salakia, it says, not cheerful or smiling serious, characterized by deep sincerity, man. It's a lot of Jake's that's not sincere at all, right? It's all about the gain of the world, to, to, to get the bag, all right? To be the, the, the top guy, whatever it is, whatever, uh, Ulterior motives that these niggas have That's that's what they're about, man They're not about the sincerity of, of Yahweh Bashim al Shai Alright, serving him in the right way Right, feeding the flock The correct way Alright, these guys are all about themselves, man Alright, it says Let's read a little bit more So it says What is the true meaning of solemn? It says being serious And dignified, right? Solemn uh, uh, Solemn Objective, being serious and dignified in appearance or behavior. Ooh, see? And guys are not serious, man. The guys take this time to, to, to fucking throw parties, to speed date, right? To promote uh, uh, whack-ass rap albums and R&B albums and shit like that, right? Totally, totally not in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh at all, man, right? But see, we're in the time of judgment, man. Let me get that too before I read that uh, Corinthians. Right? Every year niggas is playing, man. Right? First Peter, bear with me. <clears throat> Let's get that in the book of First Peter. Right? First Peter chapter four. All right. This is first Peter chapter four, straight to the point, verse 17. And it reads, it says, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high. All right. That's you Israelites. Judgment is, must begin at the house of the most high. It says, if it first begin at us, right, those that know the Israelites, what shall they be? What shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of the most high, man? All right. Hey, that's 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 heavy weight. All right. So if judgment begin at us first, those that know the truth, those that know better. All right. How much more shall it be the end of them? What shall it be the end of them that obey not the gospel of the most high, man? 
See, Jake gonna learn that, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is not playing. All right? You see all these things as I talked about. All these things are on deck right now, man. The Lord is, a, the, hey, Isaiah, the 10th chapter. The Lord is gonna give the Assyrian charge, all right, to, to trample Jake down, you know, as the mire in the streets, as the scriptures say. Right? It says, verse 18. Right. So understanding these things, basically, you would have you would have a, a serious type of mindset, man. You wouldn't be in the spirit of fucking partying and mirth. Right. Our lives are on the line, man. Right. Th major things are about to happen. That's about to affect all of us, man. But is but all these but are these other Israelite groups thinking about that? No. Right. Right now, it's about hey, getting the bag as quick as they can, you know, trying to trying to get some clout and shit like that. Right. It says, finishing it out, 1 Peter 4 and 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, right? Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear, man? So the righteous is going to barely make it, man. Where shall the sinner and the ungodly appear, man? Like I said, it's a serious matter, man. And this is the time of heavy, heavy, heavy uh, uh, self-examination, man. Right? Whether you be in the faith, right? Understand it as the apostles and the elders taught us for years understanding what we truly involved in man all right understanding that this word this gospel this truth is the ultimate threat to this man's empire man all right and he's prepared to go out with a fight see that ephesians the sixth chapter verses 10 on down and hey, we're in the midst of a spiritual war jake all right we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against a uh, 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 spiritual wickedness in high places man all right going back to the to the to the elite man the kings of the earth okay isaiah 13 what verse 2 that this word has gone up to the gates of the nobles man the nobility of this world all right now they have to uh now they have to react to what's going on man the, the vibration of this gospel reaching the four corners all right the wicked being exposed all of his agendas who he is all right his uh his uh ultimately his plans you know so it, it, it's about to go down but anyway 1 Corinthians, all right, 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 20, it says, when you come together, therefore, into one place, this is, this is not to eat of the Lord's Supper. It says, for in eating, everyone take it before other, before other his own supper, and one is hungry and another is drunken. What have you not? houses to eat and drink in or despise ye the church of the most high and shame them that have not what shall i say unto you shall i praise you in this i praise you not all right the point here all right verse 23 uh first corinthians 11 and 23 and it reads it says for i have received of the lord that which is that also that which also i delivered unto you that the Lord, Yahweh Shai, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, right? So, hey, you, you got to understand that this time, hey, Yahweh Shai understood, you know, he was going to be betrayed. He was going to have to go on trial, all right? You know, he was going to have to go through his uh, his his ordeal, you know, to be the, 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 the sacrificial lamb for the people, man. So this was a very, very, very uh, uh, heavy, heavy time, man. All right, this is very serious, man. They, they weren't partying. All right, Yahweh Shai and, and the disciples, they weren't partying and shit. All right, they was they was in a spirit of, of of being solemn, man. This is a very serious time. All right, Yahweh Shai understood what he had to go through, man. Right, just like us. That's why it's spiritual, man, because we understand what we're gonna have to go through, man. All right, the the straight gate is is being presented to us right now. We're gonna have to endure endure the bitter. Right, shit. We're gonna, hey, we're gonna have to be a, 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 a sacrifice, you know. So it says, reading that again, First Corinthians eleven and twenty three says, "For I, for I have received of the Lord, <clears throat> for I have received of the Lord that which is also I delivered unto you that the Lord Yahweh Shai the same night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he break it." And said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. 
this dude in remembrance of me, right? Heavy, man. Verse 25. After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, this is the cup. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. All right. And this is part of the ceremony, man. This is why we, 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 uh, uh, you know, we partake of the bread, you know, the unleavened bread, the, the wine in, in remembrance of what Yahweh Shai did for us, his sacrifice, man. All right. Cause through his sacrifice involves what the reconciliation, man, basically restoring peace between Israel and the heavenly father, man. Right. It says, Verse 26, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the you do show the Lord's death till he come. Verse 27. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. Man, and you got a lot of niggas that's 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 drinking and eating of the Passover unworthily, man. They're not in the spirit, man. They are in the spirit of the world, man. They're in the spirit of, uh, of their own their own uh, 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 belly, man. A lot of these guys are drinking, of, uh, partaking of the Passover unworthily, and they're going to be judged for that, man. Right? They may not believe it, right? But the Lord has all these niggas marked, man. It's not a game, all right? And like I said before, hey, the Lord is tired of playing with you niggas, man. He's Actually, the Lord is tired of you niggas playing with him. Right? Verse 27, again, 1 Corinthians eleven twenty-seven. 27, wherefore whosoever shall eat, eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Verse 28, but let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. All right? Going back to the pretty much... Um, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, is, is symbolic of the Passover, you know? It says, and, and that's why I said, you know, this is a time of heavy self-examination, man. You know, making sure that what? That we on point, all right? Making sure that what? That we teaching this word correctly and directly, you know, that we, we constantly praying and repenting, you know, turning, uh, uh, turning back to the Lord, you know, keeping the law, statute, commandments to the best of our ability, everything we can, to, to stand worthily before the Lord in that day, man. All right? That's the only thing that matters. Verse 29. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, discerning the Lord's body. That's nothing to play with, man. Right? This is why the Spirit is always hammering down on these goofballs out here playing around. Right? This is life and death here, man. But Jake don't give a damn, man. Jake is all about himself, man. Right? That's why the Lord is going to destroy many Israelites. Many Jakes, they know they're Israel, man. Right? Because the scriptures say, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, all, all that are Israel, not of Israel, roughly paraphrasing Romans the ninth chapter. All right? Because it's all, it's, it's, it's about the Israel of the Most High, Galatians 6 and 16. Right? And we pray that we're the Israel of the Most High, the elect, the first fruits. All right, that are going to be covered, that are going to that that are going to receive of the mercy of Yahweh by Shema in the, in, the, in the time of his judgment, man. You see that? Let's get some more scriptures here, man. All right, you know, because like I said, you know, this 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 word, this gospel is really, it's just a hustle for niggas, man. It's a way to get bread. Hey, you seeing all these cats? What are they doing? They selling breakdowns. You know, we didn't seen it, man. Niggas charging a hundred dollars for the breakdown of Revelation 13, and you got preset packages and shit like that, Hebrew classes, all this madness, man. Right? That's not the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Washai. Right? Let me get this scripture real quick. All right, this is um This is John the second chapter. In verse 13, it says, And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Yahweh Shai went up to Jerusalem. Verse 14, John 2 and 14, And found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves 
and changers of the money city. And that's happening now. You got niggas charging for prayers, charging for Hebrew names, selling Passover tickets like it's a concert, Passover garments. Right? Same thing. Hey, it's same thing going on now. All right? It says, and when he had made a scourge of small cores, he drove them out of the temple in the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the table. And over through the table. So Yahweh Shah went in there and wrecked shop, man. He was flipping over tables. He was hey, he was tearing shit up. Right? Verse 16. And said unto them that sold doves, take these things hence. Make not my father's house and house of merchandise. And these niggas are doing the same thing today, man. That's why the scriptures say, hey, nothing new is under the sun. These same spirits are back. Going off all over again, man. Dis disrespecting the, the heavenly father and son right in their face all over again, man. Trying to make a profit, man. Trying to trying to get a bag. Right? Taking advantage of the people. All of this shit you see now. That's why the Lord said in Malachi, the third chapter. Right? Malachi, hey, Shalom, Zaquan. All right? D-Mash, hey, Shalom, brother. Right? Hey, same thing under the sun, man. Right? That's why Malachi, the third chapter, said... That you would discern between those who are serving the most high versus those who are not, man. All right. You Israelites out there that's 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 keeping up, you know, with the current events, the, the brotherhood, the, the 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 word and all of that. You should be able to see who's truly sincerely serving the Lord the right way. There should be no confusion on that right now, man. All right. Are these guys coming in the spirit of of, of being solemn? Are these guys serious? No, it's about partying and mirth and all this bullshit. The gimmicks, all right? The theatrics, all of that, all right? The spirit of the Lord ain't dealing with these guys, man. It is what it is, right? Let's get this too, right? I ain't brought this out in a minute. This is uh, this is in the Apocrypha, all right? This is, um, this is Sirach 18, all right? This is Sirach 18 and verse 20. And it reads, it says, before judgment, examine thyself. Right? That's why I said, hey, we, we gotta be, we gotta be constantly examining ourselves every day, man. Praying, repenting, exercising them demons off us, uh, uh those wicked thoughts. You know? It says, excuse me, it says, before judgment, examine thyself, and in the day of visitation. Thou shalt find mercy, man. Whoo, and we need mercy, man. Right? It said in the day of visitation, thou shalt receive mercy, man. This is what we fighting for. This is why we're taking advantage of what? Of the grace period right now to get ourselves together. All right? Like it tells us that real quick before I grab that next precept in the same chapter. That's an, um, right? Bear with me. That was, uh, yep. Second Ezra uh, chapter 14 and verse 13, it says, now, therefore, set thy house in order. All right. And, and, you, and first and foremost, you want to set you want to set in order your spiritual house, man, your, 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 your temple, man. Get your mind right. All right. That's the first house you want to set in order, man. Right. Then you got your physical house, man, whether you got, you know, whether you by yourself or whether, you know, got your family and all that. You want to set your house in order. Right. Therefore, set thy house in order. And reprove thy people, comfort such as them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. And this is what we're doing, man. And we're comforting, like I said, comfort such of them as be in trouble. Hey, we coming in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. All right? A time like no other, man. You see that? Which our people, which the, the majority of our people are ill prepared. All right? Right now, hey, these videos is going out, the, the prophecies the current events, all these different things, and our people are still oblivious to what's about to happen to them, man. Right? As we read the the opening of scripture, Jake is caught up with the drunkenness, the cares of his life, the society, and all of that. That's why when it goes down, it said what? It's going to take these people unawares. Right? Verse 14, let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. All right, as the Lord told us to gird our, gird our loins as men, right? Put off the weak nature, get your mind right, 
understand what's about to happen. All right. It says. Verse 15. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen shall be done hereafter, man. So the Lord said greater evils are coming. We ain't even seen nothing yet, man. Right. Hey, we can't even really. Hey, we, when we bring out the prophecies, man. We, hey, we can't even really describe it to you in words, man. That's why a lot of you niggas out there, you just going to have to see it to believe it, man. And by then, it's too late. All right? The grace is done. The repentance is out the window. Proverbs, the first chapter, the Lord said, look, you're going to try to seek me early and you should not find me. The Lord said I was going to laugh at you. He said I was going to laugh at your calamity and all of that. Proverbs, the first chapter, goes into that. Right? Because what? You despise all his reproof, his correction. You didn't want to listen. It said that you hated knowledge, right? And Jake is in that spirit. Hey, the, these these other Israelite groups and Jake's and, and, and Jake's in the world in general. You can't tell niggas nothing, man. All right, pride has totally swallowed up these niggas. That's why you can't get through to them. All right, a lot of these niggas are stuck in their own ways. They got it all figured out. You know, God knows my heart. You know, like who who are y'all to tell? You know, and then when we try to. When we try to rebuke, it come, they, they, they spin it as, oh, 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 you just hating. You just jealous. You ain't getting the bag like we doing it. You ain't got enough members like we got. You ain't getting the views and the subscriptions. All of that goofy shit, man, which is not about that, right? But that shows you the mindset where these guys are at, man. That's why they, hey, a lot of these jakes really don't understand what's about to happen, man. You know? Anyway, Salakia, um... Let me read one more and I'll go back to the scripture I was going to get. Um, 2 Ezra 14 and 17. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age. So much the more evils increase upon them that dwell therein. See that? And we see that. Wickedness, evil, abomination. This anti-Messiah spirit. All these things are increasing because we're at the end. The Lord is about to bring the judgment. That's why things are getting worse, right? Scriptures say that the sins of uh, uh, the sins of Babylon have reached the heavens. All right, trust and believe. Yahweh Bashimah Shah is about to work, man. All right, and we don't want to be caught up in the in, in, in the wrath, right? Verse eighteen, finishing it out, it says, "For the truth is fled far away, and leasing is hard at hand." Right, leasing going back to um to lying or a false report. It's a lot of lies going on, all right? A lot of false reports being put out there, you know? It says leasing is hard at hand. It's hard at hand. It says, Salaki, leasing is hard at hand for now hasten the vision to come which thou hast seen, right? So, hey, like, like he told Ezra, you know? Now hasten the vision to come. These things are speeding up, man, all right? Every day is one step closer to everything just totally going uh, uh, haywire, man. Right? But anyway, let me go back to the scripture. Right? This is back in uh, Sirach 18. And um, let's read verse 20 again. It says, Before judgment, examine thyself. And in the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. Right? Jumping down, same chapter. Sirach 18 and verse uh, 24. And it reads, it says, think upon the wrath that shall be at the end. And this is what we constantly meditating on. We're thinking about the wrath, the judgment, man, which is going to come at the end. All right. Hey, this, hey, like a, like one of the brothers said, 2024 could really be, this could be the, the last Passover, man. How the way things are going right now, this could really be the last one, man, through the spirit. All right. You see that, hey, you see this immigrant thing is, is getting out of control they arming these niggas with guns, right? They just giving guns to them. These niggas got free health care, free uh, uh, housing and shit. You know, they just being flooded in. And and, and they're not just, um, they're not, uh, uh, what's you call it? They're not migrating here. They're being flown over to this bitch, man. They're being brought in. This is being set up. All right? So that clash is going to go down. The civil wars that we're talking about. All right? They keep talking about how all these things that are going on in America is going to uh, uh, pretty much uh, have some type of effect 
on the so-called elections that's supposed to go down in November. Right? Then you got the wars over there in Israel, in the so-called Middle East, this, the, the situation, the conflict with NATO and Russia, which is going to escalate to World War III, which is prophecy. All right? Jacob's trouble, persecution. All right? This devil coming down with great wrath because he knows he have but a short time. All right? Brothers being uh, uh, possibly jailed in prison, put to death, all types of shit, man. That's the straight game. All right? A position of difficulty, which these other guys are not warning you about. All right? Anyway. Salak here. All right? So back in... uh. Sirach 18 and 20, 24, it says, think upon the wrath that should be at the end in the time of vengeance when he shall turn away his face. You see that? So in the time of vengeance, the Lord is going to turn away his face, meaning ain't no more grace, ain't no more, ain't no more mercy. All right. It's, it's judgment. All right. It's, it's, it's the Lord bringing down the sword. All right. Many people getting put to death. That's the time that's coming, man. All right? Hey, this is the Pesach, the Passover, man. We're in that time. And hey, we, we're praying that what? That we have the blood on the doorposts, right? That 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 uh, uh, that the death angel pass over us, man. All right? And we, and we pray that the Lord pass over us and deliver us out of Babylon, man, pursuing the, um, Jeremiah uh, 16. Let me get that real quick. Right? Because we are in the time of what? The second exodus. Because where are we at? We are in spiritual Egypt, which is America. All right? This is the this is the uh, uh this is our final captivity. This is the land of our bondage, and the Lord is coming to uh to deliver us, starting with the elect. Right? Jeremiah 16 and 14 it says, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord. That it should no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. All right, because what's about to happen in this in this day and age, this deliverance out of spiritual Egypt is going to surpass what happened in ancient Egypt. Right? It says, verse 15. The Lord Yahweh Shemel Shah liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, North America. Right? This is in the Bible. <laughs> right? The Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whether he had driven them, right? So he's going to he's gonna deliver the elect out of America and all the different lands where the elect have been scattered to, right? Pursuant to um, Ezekiel, the 11th, uh, the 11th chapter, the Lord said that, you know, the, the, the brothers and sisters that are scattered abroad, you were likened unto those small sanctuaries, Right? Those small uh, uh, churches, those temples, right? And the Lord is coming to gather you. You true believers in Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, you know? It says, from the land of the north and, the, and from all the lands where he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers, man. This is the time and season, man. Right? That's why I said, man, we, you know, we pray that, you know, we, uh, uh, we partake of the Passover uh, uh, worthily, man. You know, we're getting ready to be delivered out of spiritual Egypt, man. The Lord is getting ready to send those plagues all over again. And you see it. All right. Remember, a couple months ago, you had the disease X. You had the elites meeting out there in, in, in uh, um, um, uh, Switzerland, Davos, Switzerland, man. All right. The, 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 the crafty council, the wicked, them devils is getting together to, to, to uh, pretty much uh, unleash their, their final plans on humanity, man. All right, World War Three is on deck. All right, the economy is trash. All right, they getting ready to push that MOTB. Don't forget about that, because all this shit that's going on, hey, the MOTB is about to get pushed, man. All right, and the Elder Apostle Gabar always said that, man. Before the the missiles hit, which is the icing on the cake, they got to push that C hit, man. All right, this economy is in shambles, man. All right, so any day you talking about EMPs, you talking about blackouts, the power grid is vulnerable right now, right? So hey, that's all going into the plagues of Egypt. Remember, you know you had the darkness, right? You had the plague of, uh, you know, the frogs. You had the the death of the firstborn, 
You know, all those different things, man. The death angel, right? The Lord is getting ready to smite this place. All right? So we want to be under the, we want to be, matter of fact, let me get that. We want to be covered, man. We want to be under the shadow of his wings, man. Right? This is Psalm 91. And verse 1, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the, uh, of the Almighty. All right? The shadow representing the covering, man. The covering of the Lord. All right? It says, I will say, it says, I will say to the Lord, I will say of the Lord, Yahweh Shem, I was shy. He is my refuge and my fortress. My power in him will I trust. Right? It says, Verse three, surely, surely he shall, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, right? That fowler going back to uh, Esau and from the noisome pestilence, which is going to be what? The nuclear destruction, right? Verse four, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield. And buckler, right? So this word, this knowledge, this gospel represents our shield and buckler, man. Ephesians the sixth chapter. It told us to put on the the the, uh, the breastplate of righteousness, the, the 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 helmet of salvation, because we're getting ready to go into a spiritual war, right? This devil has declared war against us, right? This is not a game, right? Judgment is about to happen, Jake. Wake the fuck up. It says one more verse. Thou shalt not be afraid by for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, all right, going into the missiles, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday, right? And we're at noonday. We're at the height of Esau's rulership, man. All right? We at the we're at like it tells you in uh was it Job the 20th chapter? Or, or, yeah, Job the 20th chapter. We're at the fullness of his sufficiency, man. Right? We're at the point where this man thinks that he actually is going to get us. <laughs> right? He actually thinks that he's going to, you know, get rid of us and, and, and defeat the most high. Right? He thinks that he's about to win. Right? It says, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it should not come nigh unto thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, man, because the elect are going to be delivered out of here, man. By the chariots with the world calls UFOs, UAPs, man. And they're going to see the destruction of Babylon from the heavens, man. All right, from the firmament. You see that? Let me jump up. Right? Matter of fact, I'll read, I'll finish it out. Verse 9, it says, Because thou hast made the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, I was shout, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Therefore, Shall no evil follow, therefore shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, because the Lord is going to preserve his election. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. <clears throat> they, shall, they shall bear thee up in thy hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet, man, because the Lord is going to give his men that power, man. Right, don't forget about that neither. The miracles are coming. The miracles, the spiritual power. Hey, the elect are gonna be activated, man. All right, and we believe that. Okay. See, these camps don't talk about the, the chariots, they don't talk about the miracles and the power, man. We understand these things, man, and we know and believe that these things are gonna come upon the earth as they did before. Verse 14 it says, Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name, right? And it's a shame. Here it is. We at the end of this thing. You still got niggas playing with the name of the Lord, right? It says, he shall call upon me and I will answer him and I will be with him in trouble. You hear that? He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. You see that? With long life, will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? Man, and we pray that's us, right? Let me get a couple more, all right? Because at the end of the day, <laughs> right? Are we worthy? Are we going to make it, you know? And understanding what's about to happen, should we make mirth, 
is the question, right? <laughs> Let's get that. Let me get one real quick in uh, Proverbs. Bear with me. Proverbs chapter 28. Right? Ooh, yeah. Proverbs 28 and verse 5, it says, Evil men understand not judgment. This is why niggas is playing around. This is why niggas is in this, this goof-ass Murph spirit. Party, party, let's all get wasted. Right? Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord, Yahweh Shema Washai, understand all things. See that? The Lord has given us understanding of all things, man. First John, what, 2 and 20? The Lord has given us the... Uh, Scripture say the Lord has given us the holy unction that we know all things and that word unction going back to the uh, pretty much the anointing oil, which the oil is tied back to what the spirit, you know, so we understand what's about to happen. Right. Proverbs 22. Right. Proverbs 22 and verse three, it says a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide of himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. You see that? And there's a lot of simple Israelites that just that's just all about doing their own thing, going about things in their own matter and, and, and not operating in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. So guess what? They're gonna be punished. Right? You've been warned, you've been you've been admonished, but you didn't want to listen. Alright? So it's all on you at the end of the day. Right? Let's get this too. Alright? Just wanna grab a couple. Pray I'm not ranting. <laughs> right? Let's get um. Let me see. Let me get this one in um. I think it's Ecclesiastes. Bear with me. Um it's Ecclesiastes 7. Alright, this is Ecclesiastes 7 and um. Yep. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and uh I start at verse two. All right. Ecclesiastes seven and two. And it reads, it says, it is better to go. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. Right. And that's the spirit that these other Israelite uh, camps are in. They're in the they're in the, in the in the spirit in the house of feasting, man. Partying. All right. For that is the end of all men. <sighs> And the living will lay it to his heart. Verse 3. Sorrow is better than laughter. For by sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Verse 4. Uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 4. The heart of the wise is in the, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. But the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Right? So you got a lot of foolish Israelites, man. All right? They don't have a clue that... Uh, they don't have a clue of what the hell's about to happen. And the ones that do, they're not warning, Jake. Like it tells you what in Zephaniah, the first chapter, a lot of these guys are settled upon their leaves, man. Right? And the Lord said what? He was going to search Jerusalem with candles to punish the men that are settled on their leaves, man. It's not a game, right? Uh, Ecclesiastes 74 says the heart of the wise is in, the heart, is in the house of mourning. You see, we're in the house of mourning, man. We're in the time of the Pesach. This is a solemn assembly. We understand what Yahweh shot went through for our black asses. All right? How he how he uh, 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 set himself on the cross. He endured them. He, he endured all those things for our sake, man. For us, for us to have a chance to make it, man. All right? Restoring, restoring peace between the Heavenly Father and Israel, man. Which is a very, very serious matter. All right? And you got Jake taking it for granted. You got Jake that's just basically just spitting in the Lord's face. You know? But all those things are going to be accounted for is my point. All right? Ecclesiastes 75. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools, man. You know? It says, and that's the point. Right? Right? So we we telling we telling you sincere brothers and sisters out there to get in the spirit, man, to, to get in and, and, and be serious, man. Everything is not a fucking party and a fucking joke all the time, man. All right, we're in some very serious times. Esau wants to get rid of us as a nation. Do you understand that? 
Esau and these heathen nations know who you are. All right. Psalms 83 is still in effect. All right. They want to they want to remove Israel from being a nation off the earth. Right. We at war, man. All right. It's time. It's time to be. A, it's time to be fully equipped. All right. With the whole armor of Yahweh Shem Shai as we go into this battle, into this war, man. But Jake playing out there, man. Right. This is the book of um, Ezekiel 21. I'll grab one more. Right. Or two more, actually. And then we'll wrap it up. All right. Just admonishing our people to just to, to be serious, man. Hey, Yahweh Shah is coming back. None of us is guaranteed to make it, man. That's the thing. Ain't nothing to get proud about, right? You know, we all, we all, hey, that's why we say, you know, we are we of uh, the hopeful elect, man. We pray that the Lord remembers us, man. You know, that's why I tell my camp all the time, you know. And we pray that Yahweh Bashim Shah remembers us when he returns, man. That he remembers us, that he remembers our works. You see what I'm saying? And that we worthy. Right? But anyway, real quick. I'm gonna get two more. We'll wrap it. All right. The Lord's getting ready to pass over spiritual Egypt. That's why, hey, that's why that's another point. That's why they, that's why is uh is, is is so much controversy going on going around on the whole April um April 8th, the eclipse, the Lord exiting out of uh, uh Babylon. You see, that's a major sign, man. All right, like the brother in um I believe it was the brother in, in Orlando. He did the lesson. I saw the title. I didn't get a chance to watch the lesson, but he said um, the title was the, uh, you know, Babylon X'd out the Lord. So now the Lord is getting ready to X out Babylon. <laughs> That's heavy, man. And that word, that letter X goes back to blot out, to wipe out completely. Right. Also, that letter X going back to the last uh, letter in the uh, in the Hebrew uh, alphabet, the Tha. Right. That, hey, that's the last. That's the last uh, uh, letter. Lord's get ready to X, the X this bitch out. Right? But anyway, Salakia. All right. You know, it's just heavy times, man. You know, you can't help to be overwhelmed and excited, man, and you know, fearful at the same time, man, because you know, we come in we coming into the time of the trials of our faith, man. Everything that we learned in this truth, everything that we've been taught, we're gonna have to uh, you know, we're gonna have to exercise that, man. You know, anyway, Ezekiel 21 and verse nine, and it reads, it says, son of man, prophesy and say, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, say a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter, right? And who's the sword of the most high? Esau. He's the left hand. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished. That it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Right? Should we be fucking partying this shit? Right? Should we be in this worldly spirit that you see these other camps in, man? Right? It says, should we then make mirth? It condemneth the rod of my son as every tree. As he have given it to be furbished, that it may be handled. The sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer, man. And first and foremost, the slayer being Yahweh Shai, right? But on a twofold aspect, he's getting ready to uh, uh, use Esau to slay Jake, man. Two thirds, right? It says, verse 12, Ezekiel 21 and 12, cry and howl, son of man, it shall be upon my people. See? Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people, you Israelites. All right? And it ain't just talking about you Jakes that know you're Israelites. This is talking about all you Jakes out there, man. Whether you subscribe to Christianity, Islam, uh, uh, Kemet, e Egyptology, whether you're an uh, atheist, it don't matter. All right? If you're a Jake, you're an Israelite, Esau coming. Judgment is coming, man. It should be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon the thigh, man. See? So it, it, this is very serious, Jake. Death and destruction is at the doors of this thing, man. You see? Let me see if I want to get this, man. 
All right, and then we'll we'll finish it out. All right, bear with me. All right, because basically, what judgment went down in the time of the Pesach or the Passover, man. You know, a lot of heavy things happen. All right. So this is um real quick, bear with me. You know what? I mean, we already read it in the first Corinthians, the uh, 11th chapter, just going into the spirit that the Lord was in. He understood that he was going to be betrayed. He understood that he was going to go on the cross. All right. That he was going to receive the, the beating that he took. You see what I'm saying? It, it, it was just a, it was a very serious matter, man. All right. It wasn't no laughing. It wasn't no playing games. It wasn't no partying. You know, it wasn't no getting married. All this, this silly shit that we see, man. All right. This was a time of of, 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 of seriousness, man. Right. So we ain't got to read that. You know, I, I was going to read that Matthew 26. All right. But you get it. Those that's tuning in, you get it, man. All right. First, uh, first Corinthians 11. You know, pretty much went into that, man. You know, we pray that, um, you know, we're not partaking of the Passover unworthily, man. You know, at the end of the day, man. So that's pretty much it. That's what I was just thinking about, man. All the stuff that's going on. Jake bugging the fuck out, you know. But we're going to stay in the spirit of the Lord, man. You know, because, hey, this hey, this could be the year right here, man. Lord willing. So I'll leave it like that. Um, I mean, I feel like let's end it with this. We'll end it with this right here. This is... um. Let's get this last scripture here. Um, Cause I wanted to bring that out earlier. I was holding that, I forgot about it. All right, but let me just bring this out. This is um, 2 Corinthians, right? I'm gonna read it in the NLT as well. All right, matter of fact, let me just put it on my phone. Let's go to 2 Corinthians. All right, bear with me one second. Let's go to Blue Letter. I was actually holding this earlier. I meant to bring it out earlier, but we'll bring it out now. All right. Um, let's see. NLT not available. What? It's all good. Man, that would have been cool to read it in the NLT. Let me see if I can pull it up. Bear with me one second, man. Oh, you know what? I'm going to connect this so I can't, I can't do it. It's all good. I'll just read it. KJV. So anyway, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 13. All right. This is 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. And it reads, it says, examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. All right. As I talked about earlier, man, this is a time of, of, of heavy uh, self-examination. Like the brother said, you know, it's the time to really be looking in the mirror, understand what was about to happen, what we about to go through with the things that we're about to endure. Right. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves how that Yahweh Shah HaMashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates, right? That word reprobate going into um to condemn strongly as unworthy, right? To contempt to condemn strongly as unworthily or evil. Evil, it says to reject, morally corrupt, rejected as worthless. That's what reprobate means, right? Verse six, but I trust that ye should know that we are not reprobates. Verse seven, now I pray to the most high that you do, that you do no evil, not that we should appear approved, but that you should do that which is honest, though we be as reprobates, for we could do nothing against the truth, but, but for the truth, right? The point, all right? So we'll leave it there, man, you know? Let's continue to examine ourselves and, you know, pray to the Lord that, that you know, that we, uh, uh, you know, we endure all things to the, to the end of this thing, you know, that we be found worthy to stand before the Son of Man, you know. So, yeah, I pray this all, you know, live lesson was edifying, man. I just want to make a few points. Prayer wasn't all over the place. All right. But I'm going to close it out by giving all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem. Rechakwadash. All right. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And double salutations to our Yuakim out the labor in the house of David, the elect that's pushing this word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers, and shalom to the elect. All right. Keep the faith, man.
Shalom.